So, I got lost at one of the biggest parties so far this year, and I swear it wasn't my fault. Sort of wasn't my fault. I, I was, it was for a bachelor party, all right? But I'm not gonna lie to you, this story starts way before that. My life leading up was a tragedy. I thought it was about to be a fun little bachelor party. Nah! I started this trip off struggling. As soon as I started planning this trip, everything started going horribly wrong. My flight from Cali to Phoenix, Arizona, 500 bucks. And it is because I decided to do it two weeks in advance. Like, don't look at me. I was stressed. I didn't think I was gonna be able to even go on this trip in the first place. My pockets are not deep. Putting in my card information was like putting in launch codes on a nuke the way it wiped away my entire bank account. I had no money, no savings, credit card over a thousand already. This was also only like two months ago, by the way. I'm, I'm still paying off that credit card, but <laughs> this is my first bachelor party. I couldn't miss it. I had to come through. But I'm not gonna lie to you, uh, I definitely, definitely felt sick after that. Not, but not like queasy. I, I didn't have a cough or a sniffle. I changed my detergent, tossed it into the washer, threw it into the dryer, put it on. Hives everywhere. From my neck down to my inner thighs, my body was on fire. Hell's a horrible place, but it's got nothing on this. Turns out through a quick Google search, it wasn't cancer, but instead I got contact dermatitis. I guess you can get it through different soaps that you lather on your body, so it, I guess it makes sense. It also mentioned that it will frack you, your day, your week, your month, all the way up. It was the worst I had ever felt. And I've broken hands, I've had surgery. No bueno, zero out of 10. Fast forward two weeks, still rashy, itchy, nasty. I haven't even left for the trip yet. I'm about an hour and 40 minutes away from my flight and I'm ordering my Uber, he's 11 out, which is fantastic. I'm just chilling, watching TikToks. And 20 minutes goes by. I check my phone, bro hasn't even moved. I'm texting him a little stressed and I'm trying to figure out what's going on. And he was like, what up chiller? Dude, bad news. Vibes are low out here. The traffic's kind of unreal. Rain's kind of got everybody locked in place here. So might be a minute, hang tight. Rain, really? Look, as a person from the Midwest, I've experienced every extreme weather almost for what feels like every week. One day it's 107, the next it's 40 and raining, which turns into hail and sleet at night. Rain, snow, extreme heats, tornadoes, I've done it all. And I did it all in a 2007 Mini Cooper. One of the least likely cars to survive. My AC didn't even work half the time. My engine literally didn't work properly. So when I hear somebody say that they can't make it to me due to rain, I'm not gonna lie, I lose my mind a little bit. The way Californians view rain is insane to me. And I'm honestly not convinced that bro's not chilling eating food right now. He hasn't even left his neighborhood. Exact same spot for the last 30 minutes now. I don't believe, I, I can't believe it. I cancel the ride, call a new one. He gets the job again. Yeah. I cancel again. Bro got it again. Oh, hey. Canceled it again. New person, thank God. Canceled on me. Then bro picks it up again oh, hey. it's like the universe or something I cancel it new guy 17 minutes away this whole thing took about 45 minutes to get through and it's gonna take me about 30 minutes to get there so I messaged the guy I'm like yo if you can get me there by 8 45. I'll give you the best tip you've ever seen. Pause. But no pause. I don't even care what I gotta do. It was like, say less. Let's get it. Picks me up. We drift out. We make it there by 8.45 on the dot. The guy was clutch. Uber was 27. I tipped him 20. And I sprinted in. I get inside and I have never ever seen this airport packed. But this line was all the way down the hall. I hop in, five minutes goes by, 10 minutes goes by. I've moved about maybe five feet. And I'm thinking, I can't miss this flight. I've spent 500, 637-ish collectively because of the Uber and the ticket into the actual event. I can't go home without one more try. So I, start asking everybody in the line one by one if I could cut them. I was looking like one of those uh, homeless kids in those old movies that run up to people and be like, please sir, may I cut in front of you sir? I've got five minutes before my plane takes off, please. And to my surprise, people started letting me pass. I get all the way to the front and this couple is struggling to put their stroller into the conveyor belt. I asked if I could just cut in front of them real quick and they were like, no, sorry sir, we're, we're late too actually. So yeah, if you could just wait, thanks. I threw my stuff on the conveyor belt, get scanned, grab my stuff, haven't even put my shoes on. I look at my phone to check the time. Departed. I 
missed my flight. I don't miss flights. I don't know what to do at this point. I'm just trying to come to terms with what happened and all the money I lost just trying to take this super heavy L on the chest. Mr. Uber was like, No shot, bro. This is the fattest party in Scottsdale. It's gonna be sick. I think missing that would be tough, man. I, I, why don't you just change your flight? Huh? Y you can do that? For sure, bro. Cruise up to those people at the front desk. Tell them what's good. They'll help you out. Wow. Uh, thank you. Hey, do I know you? Okay. Just spent 49 bucks on some advice, by the way. Pretty sure he just added a stop instead of changing it from my place to the airport. So he just got an entire 50 minutes worth of travel just in this parking garage. Never even left. Nothing like getting hustled at 9 in the morning. But whatever. The damage is done. Moving forward. I tried walking up the exit stairs to get back and... No! No! I'm just... No! 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 I was, I was just here, man. I waved to you. No! 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 No, you know! You know! <laughs> Alright, fine. I'm going. <laughs> I go up to the counter, get my flight. It's about 30 minutes away. I'm like... Okay, maybe I can make it through this line. Line still looks like a Disneyland roller coaster wait, but it's cool because I get in with about five minutes to go, just enough time to run down and we can't let you in. Are you fucking kidding me? Captain's got a head count or whatever. <sighs> All right, let's do this again. Wait, wait, look, we're normally supposed to upcharge you for missing two flights, but we got you. Here, next flight's at 10.50, make sure you don't miss it. Honestly, thank God, because I was fully about to take like the 680 some loss and just head home. Fast forward, I make it there. I don't really know any of these guys besides The Bachelor, so I met the guys, it was cool. That night we go to a cigar lounge and I, I don't really smoke. So the entire time I was just drinking this $15, $5 drink and just really had to sneeze the whole night. Fast forward to the next morning, we get up and The Bachelor's got a surprise for us. He bought us all suits. And not like suits, like, like plumber suits, giant onesies, big jumpers. It's got his name on the back, it was sweet. And like, they were cool, but they weren't exactly uh, form fitting. Not gonna lie, I had to style it up a little bit because I didn't really want to feel like a gang of plumbers. Way, way better, right? Kind of like painter vibes, I like it. We took two cars, the other team had to go and get their tickets. Those of us with tickets went to the spot and I, I didn't really know what to expect. It's called the Waste Management Phoenix Open. And I heard it was like a golf thing, but it was named by a trash company. So I don't really know if it's like adjacent to a dump. It's like a bunch of rats playing putt-putt into soup cans or something like that. But I heard it was gonna be fun, so I was down for the ride. We walked about a mile to the event. I took off half my jumper because it was getting hot in there and I was literally actively sweating just by standing there. And we get to the front and everybody's got a QR code. I ain't got that. Like I'm searching my phone and it's not there. I download the waste management app and it's not there either. Probably because their app specifically for trash makes sense. But I bought it through the waste management website. I don't know why they sell tickets that we just never get. Turns out everybody went through a separate ticket app. And since I didn't buy mine through there, I wouldn't have a QR code. The guys that made it in went to a gift shop and I was there for like another 30-ish minutes talking to the people at the front. Finally got to talk to this one lady and judging by what she was wearing, I noticed that she was a Chiefs fan. And I was raised in Kansas, so so uh, it seems like we have an in. And now we're just having a great time. She's just doing what older people do, telling me about her whole family lineage. If she's your mom, she's very proud of you and your kids, Jackson. Keep up the good work and congrats on your promotion, bro. Sorry about your wife. That's, that's tough. But stuff happens, you know, you just gotta hop back on the horse. I believe in you, you got this. But anyways, I remember that I took a screenshot of my purchase confirmation. Always do this, this will save you. But on the screenshot, it literally said, not a valid form of ticket. So I had to take that, crop it out real quick, show her and she let me in. I go to the gift shop, nobody's there. Besides like 100 plus people, obviously. I texted them and they were like, we're at hole 16, cool, easy. Where's hole 16? I walk outside and there's two paths, one's to a beer garden and the other one's to this long path leading towards some golfing greens. So I feel like my choice is obvious. So I just start walking and walking and walking and uh, it has been an hour and a half. They text me, yo, where you at? I'm at the whole 
11, I think. Cool. Like, head over to hole 16. We'll be looking for you. I'm thinking, like, how the hell did they make it all the way to hole 16 in 40 minutes? They had to have ran. And I know these guys aren't the running type. I'm starting to get a little frustrated. My Nike blazers are dirty because of the mud and a little bit of the jumper is too because it's all white. My watch keeps trying to start a workout and I'm like, why? Am I out of shape? Huh? I get it. I'm not what I used to be. I'm not as athletic. Get off me. You know, my watch is on my ass like all the time. I would stand in anime and like, I don't know if I'm just standing incredibly still or what, but my watch is always like, hey, stand the fuck up, bitch. Not its exact words, but that's what it feels like. It feels mad disrespectful. I take a look around and I see hole seven and hole 11 at the same time, which made me realize it's all random. There's no rhyme or reason. What's going on here? I've got to confess. Golfing to me is boring as hell. I don't watch it. I don't want to watch it. I don't care for it. I don't know anything about it. I barely enjoy top golf and only barely because it's funny to watch people who don't golf try to golf. So I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know whether it's normal to not have your holes in a consecutive order one after another, or if it's just the execs of waste management trying to manage while wasted. And if they are, I need to get like them because I'm having a horrible time. And don't get me wrong. I enjoy a leisurely stroll every once in a while, but when I'm actively looking for friends in this maze is actively moving kind of feels like they're playing against me and i don't like it i'm lost but then i stumble across honestly just a safe haven it's it's a beer garden in the middle of nowhere it's like i stumbled into the garden of eden everything's beautiful here food drinks people are laughing people are having a good time i was like if i'm going to be lost i might as well be lost here i hop in a couple lines and i haven't eaten breakfast yet so i'm about to get food and maybe a drink or two and start enjoying my vacation but then i get a text but it's from the bachelor in the second group and they were like yo come meet us at the front so i start heading back but one problem since I'm all the way at the beer garden, I'm about a 40 minute walk away from the front. I start walking, 10 minutes pass, and they text me, just meet us at hole 16. Where, bro? Hole 16 doesn't exist. Fast forward a little bit, I walk all the way back, walked up to the beer garden, walked in a circle for a bit, looking for signs. Didn't find any, by the way. Found an even further left path to go up. Meanwhile, they're sending me pics of concession stands they're at, and this. What the frack is this? I've seen at least four of those concession stands. They all look the same. And my watch, my watch, bro. My watch asked me again if I want to start a workout. And I'm like, at this point, why not? I'm thinking I might as well track myself if I'm going to walk the distance of the Tour de France. And somehow I ended up all the way back around on the opposite side, back on the original path, somewhere back in between 11 and 7. I'm so turned around, I don't even know if I'm in the right park. I have not seen 16 even once. After just walking aimlessly again, I finally found a worker who was opening the path so people can walk through. And so I asked him, hey man, I, I've been lost for a minute. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, can you just point me to hole 16? <laughs> can I? Just listen for all the commotion. Really? <laughs> you know, son, there's gonna be a lot of holes in your life. Small holes, large holes alike. But regardless of what kind of holes are being thrown your way, you just gotta enjoy the journey of finding the right one. That was great. Uh, except I can't tell if it's like old man wisdom or if uh or if this is a a, a sex thing oh, 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 oh which do you want it to be okay get off me i walk over and i'm texting him still looking for the one concessions with the pylon next to it i walk past what i now know is 16 and i've walked past several times and i look up to this absolute mess of a walkway people walking up people walking down back to back you can't move without nudging people trust me i know gave some dude a cheeky little squish by accident a little homie squish you know what i mean i squeeze through the crowd and finally get up there and there's two concessions but no pylon i'll be honest i'm about to give up i'm standing in another line just to get a drink at this point i still haven't even eaten i haven't drinking anything we got here around 8 and it's coming up on like 1 30 ish but then i caught a glimpse of a group of people a gaggle a small herd they all look like me they're in the same jumpsuit that i'm in i take a pic and i was like yo where'd y'all get these green hats yo uh not us nah, man that's not us not us bro but i think we know where you are 
come down to your left to hole 15. There's a pathway that gets you pretty close to the course. That's where we'll be. We'll be looking out for you. I walk down, squeeze through with my hands in my pocket so I don't catch a case. I've got long arms and I can't be going to jail because I accidentally brushed against some sorority girl. I can't go down like that. My eyes are too green for jail. I squeeze through and pop out the crowd. And finally, there they are. I look down and I stop my workout on my watch. Here's the results. Real quick though, I look back at the golf course and I noticed that there was a big ass 10. Why'd y'all tell me to go to hole 15? This is literally hole 10. Hole 15? <laughs> nah, man. That's on the opposite side of hole 16. It's a good thing you didn't know where the hell you were going. But y'all said hole 15. Y you don't know where you're going. To the beer garden. Yeah, beer garden. Beer Let's garden. get it. Let's get it. Woo! Y'all don't know where you're going. Y'all don't even know where you're going. We get to the beer garden, we got some food, some drinks. Apparently his fiance said that when they FaceTimed, she caught me absolutely destroying this burger, dismantling it. Looking like an untrained dog when you give him a little treat. I go back for another drink and- They stop selling alcohol. Stop serving alcohol. Stop serving adult beverages. They cut it off. And I'm thinking like, whatever, I'll just wait 30 minutes. Like they probably just gotta refill or replace like the kegs or whatever. I don't know how bars work. I just know this isn't a permanent thing. 10 minutes later, they cut us off from food. And not only that, they cut us off from even getting a water. They really said party's over and uh, people were not happy. People started getting crazy. They got mad at the waitresses and the bartenders. And as this was happening, it started to get even more packed in here. No drinks, no food. Then why else are we here? Needless to say, we decided to leave. And as we're leaving, we noticed the absolute mega gathering. Just hordes and hordes of college people trying to get in. Like in reality, it was this, but it was more comparable to that scene from Lion King. I heard they just stopped scanning tickets and just let hundreds of people in. Not 100% sure if that was true, but that definitely felt like that was the case. And if that was the case, then that would explain why they cut everyone off from drinking and eating. They needed to get people out of there. And at least on us, it worked. We walked like a mile down to this little taco spot, sat down, had some strawberry margaritas, and headed home. Hopped in the Uber and we told him what was going on in there and he was like, You know, to be honest, man, I've always thought they need to have some sort of real fan test, some criteria you gotta meet to be let into one of these places. Otherwise, you just get a bunch of drunk knuckleheads running around and <clears throat> dressing like plumbers. Honestly, man, I couldn't agree more. I couldn't even find hole 16. In total, I... Uh, was missing for over four hours. I walked, you know, like a good six miles at least. Missed the flight that I spent 500 on. Then spent 50 on common knowledge and ended up not fumbling this entire trip. Got lost in an event that I spent 100 bucks on. Plus drinks, food, and Ubers. I, I probably spent like close to like 850 bucks, maybe 900. There was one place that had $30 drinks. $30 drinks. All went on the credit card, by the way. I'm still paying it off. What a trip. Holy. Look, if I could do it different, even though I actually enjoyed my chill walk and trust me, I enjoyed it. I spent a lot of that walk trying not to fall because everybody did. If I had a dollar for every 40 year old drunk that spilled their drink and every white two piece I've seen ruined, me and Jeff Bezos would be great friends. And definitely not because we're homies, but because he's running his home for me. And I'll put an eviction notice on his front doorstep if my packages don't land on mine. But genuinely, I think I would have just asked about an hour and a half sooner. Because truthfully, I don't think I would have found them. Turns out it's okay to ask for help sometimes. You aren't gonna know everything. Sometimes you gotta put your anxiety, pride, emotions, or whatever aside and just reach out. It's not a big deal. For me, it's the fact that I just don't like when people worry about me. I don't, I'll be all right. Whatever happens, I'll just I'll just push through it. It's not a big deal. Even if it takes me over four hours to do it. Like if I had called my family after missing my flight, I probably would have saved 50 bucks and definitely wouldn't have almost lost out on 650 if because I just didn't know where to go next. So yeah, ask if you need some help, bro. It's cool. Or just don't be fracking dumb. I have a whole ass phone. I could have looked all of this stuff up at any point. I think my phone was at like 14% because I forgot my charger at home. Bro, I knew it. I posted a story on Instagram and I was literally like, I feel like I'm forgetting something. <laughs> all right, knew if I could do it different. I wouldn't be fucking stupid. <laughs>